so you want to end your life everything that can possibly go wrong is going wrong with you and this has been happening almost daily some day a client some day your boss you lost a dear one or probably you broke up the list of things that break your morale is long i want you to imagine how it will all play out you come home after a horrible day at work which now seems more like a norm you feel that you are good for nothing you feel failed and you feel broken you're just ready to give up to end this once and for all so you go to your room you close the door and take out that suicide note that you've been writing and rewriting over and over again you take all that you have collected to use sleeping pills knife rope rat poison you choose sleeping pills out of it you take them and you lie down holding that letter to your chest while you close your eyes for that very last time in a while your mother knocks on the door calling you for dinner you don't answer sensing that the door is locked from inside she calls on her cell phone it goes unanswered as well she is getting worried as she has been seeing you low for the past few weeks she informs your father brother and wife now your family starts getting worried and everyone is outside the door knocking in panic and then your father decides to break the door open everyone enters your room and they see you lying at first they think you're sleeping and they all try to wake you up and when you don't on repeated attempts panic spreads again now your mother spots something odd she picks the paper in your hand and reads she screams your name crying and still hoping you are sleeping she is still trying to wake you up your wife reads the letter and in utter shock she falls on her knees sobbing your son comes running from another room confused and too small to understand what's happening in deep grief your wife shouts and grabs your son continuously crying next day news about your death spreads it is announced in your office it takes a few minutes for everyone to sink it in your clients are informed and everyone blames themselves your boss feels he was hard on you your clients feel they were unreasonable with you those colleagues who used to tease you and name call can't help but to hate themselves your best friend at work cannot handle it breaks down in office and is rushed to hospital people who liked you are crying wondering how the hell they could not have seen this thinking they could have helped you before it was too late your family is still broken wife is in state of shock shaking screaming but no tears your son by now has figured out that you are no more and is continuously crying your mother father everyone is crying for your funeral everyone came everyone knew you as someone who was a nice human someone who had a bright smile a cheerful personality the one who was always kind and helpful everyone talks about the good memory they had with you your funeral ends and time passes your wife is emotionless living only for your son your dad turned himself into a workaholic to distract himself your mother now has depression and is bedridden you know what whether we agree or no people care yes people care we may not see or think so but they do and our choices don't just affect us they affect everyone and the worst hit of all is our family and the ones who loved us truly life is an extremely precious gift and there indeed is so much to do and to live for and ever you are so broken or failed or left with nothing to look forward to so much that you feel dying is better than staying alive i strongly recommend in that case stop living for yourself choose and live for others live for your family fulfill their dream quit your job take community service adopt a poor family in your neighborhood and sponsor education for their kid this way you will be impacting a massive change in someone's 
life. Go probably become a monk, start a charity, enable funds for underprivileged, teach poor kids who cannot afford tuitions. Imagine the blessing and karma you will get out of it. If you feel that you have nothing in your life left, why don't we make it worthwhile for someone else? Life is a gift of great value. We may not value it, but we can add great value in other people's life. You are alive for a reason, so never give up. On an ending note, I am here for absolutely anyone who needs someone to talk to. No matter who you are, even if you've never talked before, I'm here for you. You can find my email in the description box below. But please, 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 never ever think of committing suicide.